So let's say you're just like every other parent out there and the worst thing in the world is your child says, I have to potty and you're in the middle of nowhere or you're at a restaurant or somewhere and the thought of your child going to the bathroom in a public place makes you cringe or possibly want to vomit. I feel you. I get it. Hey guys, welcome back. So happy that you decided to watch this Potty Hacks video. Today I have something so awesome that I discovered as a mom of toddlers. I have two sets of twins and a preteen and my baby twins are actually three years old. So we're right in the thick of the whole potty part of our lives now. So we decided to try to make potty training as normalized as possible for them so that they're never uncomfortable with having to potty. But sometimes you hear when you're on the road, mommy, daddy, I have to potty. And you probably get the same feeling that I do of utter disgust if you have to use a public bathroom with your very small baby, or if you have to go in a place where you're not as comfortable, or if you just might happen to be in the middle of nowhere. So hopefully this could help you if you travel a lot over the summer, or if you're a family that takes road trips, or just in general, guys, we've gone down the street for no more than about 10 miles and somebody had to potty after we told them to go to the potty before we left the house. Sound it familiar? I will show you how to make it comfortable for them right in the car or in your SUV. Stay tuned till the end of the video. I have a bonus hack for you. You don't wanna miss that. Okay, so for this potty hack, let me just give you an idea of what you're gonna need. I picked up these antibacterial wipes from Dollar Tree, so they were $1.40 of them. I got this plastic shower curtain also from Dollar Tree for $1. This is a 13 gallon trash bag that I also got. I got these dinner napkins from Dollar Tree. I got this container from Dollar Tree. It came in a pack of three and this is where I keep the soap. So it's just hand soap. And I got the hand sanitizer. And obviously this is a hack that I really use because none of this is full, but this is the hand sanitizer that I have. I have these four gallon bags from Dollar Tree as well. So these are trash bags too. I have this spray bottle from Dollar Tree that I put a cleaning solution in. And this is just a spray bottle with just water. I got this tray from Dollar Tree also to hold everything in and I'll show you how everything fits in just a second. And for the actual potty, so I got the potty off of Amazon and it is a travel potty. It comes with a silicone inside. It's the Potet Plus. This is the silicone inside. This is the actual seat for the potty and it folds down and you can lock the legs in. So I'll show you exactly how the potty works. And as a bonus, it comes in a travel bag. And we also got these to insert in the potty. You can order these as refills. When I got the potty, this came with the value pack in the bundle, but you can order them if you wanna get some more of these, but I also have a hack if that's not something that you wanna do also. So now I'm gonna go into how I've set it up in an SUV setting. And then I have another hack for you guys at the end of the video. If you don't have an SUV and you still might have a sedan of some type and you don't have this type of trunk space in the back of your car. So stick around for that as well. So hack number one, I'll show you how I've done it with my kids. Both sides have a curve. So even if you're in a rush and you have a boy, a little uh, boy who has to use the potty, both of them have a lip on each side. So you won't, get any you know any mess up so if you were setting it up with the way that the potty comes i'll show you that right now
zone. So if you want to use a carrying case, you can, but this is so flat, you could almost set it to the side in the car and it wouldn't really take up much space, which is why I really love this one. All right, guys, so this is typically what it looks like. This sits in my car in the back. I have a large SUV. Um, today I'm showing it to you in a mid-sized SUV. So if you have this size car, this is how it stores. So I have two sets of twins, um, as you all might already know. So more than one child might be using this potty. So in order to not overspend on the refills, I have some hacks that I came up with. So let me show you how we've done it in our car when we've had a potty emergency. That's how I would set the potty up and do my own little absorbent piece in the middle, just like what comes with the actual refill. So this is a hack for that solution if you don't want to keep ordering the refill. So let me show you how you can create privacy with this setting in the back of your vehicle. So that's where the magnetic clips that I got from Amazon come in. So the clips are here on the side so keep these accessible so you don't have to dig for them you don't want to go looking for something this small so just clip them to the side of the basket so what you want to do is you just create drapes so every car is magnetic pretty much everywhere obviously so take the clip stick it on a magnetic piece there you have your magnetic piece here put these on unfold your shower curtain but not all the way just to where it's doubled. Now you have a privacy shield. The child can use the restroom and you can still see. I would definitely say to do it where you can peek in. If you do have the space to store a thin twin sheet, or another old cloth shower curtain, you can do that as well, and that minimizes the wind blowing. Tina, after everything's happened here, you just pull the bag up. There's no fighting with it because there's no handles, nothing like that. I can just grab it, tie it up. We've used these a few times. I've never had an issue with spillage, and you simply throw it away. Because the silicone is actually covered with the trash bag. The need to clean this is highly unlikely right away. But if you feel like after a while, if you've ridden with it or if it sat in the car for a while, that's why you wanna keep this cleaning solution with you. Because I mean, let's face it, sometimes they miss. If you do have a smaller SUV and you wanna avoid the issues of the potty and you don't feel like it's an emergency and we really got potty training down and they feel the signal, you know you still have about 30 seconds to a minute to get this covered. So you take your 13 gallon garbage bag where it's not a hassle, unfold it and just lay it here. And before they sit, put the garbage bag down, then sit the potty, then proceed with all the other steps that I just showed you. All right, and we know in some situations, it's a little bit easier for them to wipe their hands off and then we just use hand sanitizer and that'll do until you can get somewhere where maybe you could get to some water because we know that hand sanitizer is not a substitute for washing our hands. Along with using the dinner napkins for an absorbent when they use the potty, I also use this to wipe their hands with if we decide to go the water route. So what I would do is I would use my water only bottle, spray a good bit of water into their hands give them just a bit of soap and then we just would stand and rinse with some more water hands that small it then take a whole lot of water and then I would just use these to wipe their hands with along with their bottom here's another hack for if you are gonna use your front seats I can give you a way to have the shower curtain already prepared so that you don't have to fight with this with clips or if you don't have bulldog clips. So before you pack your car and set up your potty, what you wanna do is fold it the long way. So you would fold your shower curtain.
and that's gonna do it guys i do hope that this one was another good one for you if you have any questions leave me some comments click the like button if you like this video if there's something else you want to see let me know in the comments as well or you can follow me on instagram i am at life underscore in underscore multiples and you can also watch my igtv for some additional videos guys if there's something else that you want to see dm comment whatever doesn't matter reach out to me guys let me know what you got going on or what you might want to see from me thank you so so much for watching can't say how much i appreciate it Mwah.